Good morning, everyone. So today I have a couple things to try out that I have picked up recently um, through HSM, their Anna Griffin items. So if I have any links for them, if they're still available, those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. Um, and you know what? I pulled these out a couple days ago that I want to play with them, and I already forgot what they are. I know this one. This is the um, Garland Cut and Emboss Folders, and I had opened it when I got my haul in. So let's take a quick look. So these are... I would say more Christmassy, but not really, because there's, um, oh, we'll look at them in just a minute, but again, garland cut and emboss folders, and I mean, look how she used them here several different ways, or her design team, whoever it is that actually puts these together. <clears throat> there is the ruffled garlands, and this one is what I would consider not so much Christmassy. I think this is like an everyday, or you know, for other, anytime you want to use it. And this one's more Christmassy, um, the holiday garlands. And of course it has little bells, it has little ornaments, and um, little like jingle bell type things here. Super cute. So I'll probably be using these today because I wasn't planning on making a Christmas card. And, oh yes, the Gentleman Slimline Dies Auto Ship. This, okay. <laughs> I forgot this was still in the plastic because I'm like, it doesn't have an idea sheet, but it's on the back. Since the other one was open, I guess in my mind, I thought this should be open. I do not even remember getting this in, but... Um, but it's here, so <laughs> let's open this up and give it a try. I normally don't pick up her gentleman's <clears throat> items, but um, this was the auto ship, and it didn't look like it had to be gentleman's. Like, I, I don't know. Some of them she does, like, cigar box look or something, however. Um, so this is the auto ship for, again, whenever you first signed up for her auto ship for her slimline dies. Um, this is, I want to see how tall this is, because it looks smaller, but no, it's still pretty big. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat here. Yeah, it's eight and three quarters. It'll probably cut something that's eight and three quarters, and then the die is a little bit bigger than that. Sorry, my throat is just, oh. I was hoping it'd be a little bit smaller when I initially looked at it right now. I thought, oh, it looks a little bit smaller, but no, it's still pretty big. <laughs> so by three and a quarter. So, that still can give us a three and a half width, but then it would be like a nine inch card. A little bit smaller than nine, because it's kind of, well, we'll have to measure it later. So we have the outer, we have the inner. Um, the inner is not an inlay, because it, it would cut itself out, it has a cutting edge, so it's just something that you would layer on top of this one if you were to cut them both separately, of course. Um, this pretty lady right here in the center, that's just like a frame kind of cool guy look. And I don't mean frame like that the center cuts out, I just mean like something you can layer in there. Um, hmm. No. I was going to say maybe you can cut this with this and that way this cuts out. But it's kind of weird. It matches up but not really, you know. And then this center piece that would be great for your label or however you want to use it. So let's look at some of the examples because what I was thinking is I'm going to do a background with this and then I'm going to put these little guys on top. And now that I think about it, how big are these? Yeah, that'll work. Ooh, I guess we're going to have to make a 4x9 or whatever size she does. Yeah. If we want to use that. So, not super gentlemen on this one. I mean, they all look pretty feminine to me, but, um, it, you know, whatever. I, I don't really get into the whole when people are like, like at Hobby Lobby, they're like, men's decorations and like women, like what? <laughs> if you like it, just get it. Who cares? So, anyway. Um... So yeah, so we have all these things here. Um, so let's just try it out. So I think I will go and grab some decorative paper for the background. I was actually, what paper pad do I have that I haven't used yet? Oh, I don't know if that would work. I have the um, Crafters Companion um, Cloisonne look paper that I haven't even touched. Huh. Maybe we'll use that. Let me go look through that stuff. Maybe that's another thing I'll bring out because been getting a lot of deliveries and not having a lot of time to play with stuff, so maybe that'll be a fun one. I mean, the colors are really deep and rich in that one, so um, let's see. Let me go grab that, and I'll be right back. Yeah, so you guys know I <laughs> did a quick video with one of those shorts. It already has, like, almost 2,000 views. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Whenever I show the craft room, everyone's like, oh, let me see that, because you guys know it's 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 a real craft room. <laughs> and let's just say if you're organized, that's not a real craft room. I'm just saying... Most time people don't show their craft room when it looks like my craft room, right? And I don't mind sharing that with you guys. And most of you guys are like, <laughs> one of my friends here, Miss Augie, she's always like, I just got home from work that she wanted to see if I had made a video. She's like, again, you were filming in my house. <laughs> because like a lot of you guys are like, oh, that looks like mine, or mine's worse. <laughs> you guys are so funny. But um, 
So yeah, I found, well, I knew where this was. I just uh, grabbed it and put it in a different spot. So now we will use it. Oh, I'm talking a little bit loud. Miranda keeps waking up kind of early. Oh, you guys. I have of two minds school is starting again. I mean, I still, you know, obviously want to keep my kids safe. But um, Miranda's going to go to second grade. Dorian's going to seventh grade. Um, he will get his little COVID shot soon, but he had to get his Tdap or Dtap. I've, to me, they're both <laughs> they're not the same, but the letters are so close. And then the meningococcal um, vax. So um, to go into seventh grade here in California, and uh, the doctor recommended just to wait a few weeks to just let that settle down, and then give him his COVID if that's what I want to do. So he'll get it in a few weeks. So he'll he'll be good. And the schools are gonna be masking and all that stuff. But I was just thinking about it. And then Diego's gonna go back to college. He's gonna have two classes on campus, and the other three online. And um, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have like seven and a half hours a day by myself, just to myself, you guys. <laughs> I've been making so many videos. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do lives. I'm gonna do lives whenever I just feel like it. <laughs> Cause like, why not? Why would I like, just jump on, you know? Oh, it's gonna be really good. So hopefully the year goes well and everyone's safe and your kids, everyone, you know, going back to school. Um, anyway, so that was a whole sidetrack, but oh, look at that. So what I'll do, this paper is not the thickest. I kind of want to make a card base with it, but I guess I'm not because that won't feel too good. So let me think about what I want to do as far as these layers and see if anything even makes sense. I guess what I would have to do is map my card base with one of these card pieces, right? So you can see it and then do the layers. So let me think about that. And um, I have all these pieces. I was going to use a card topper from um, Anna, but you know what? Maybe one of these things will work. I don't really feel like stamping and coloring right now, so I don't know that I'm going to use any of these things. It's probably just the papers and the sentiment. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, we are going to baby step this one because I don't really know what I want to do still. I'm going to pull out some gold paper, of course. I think it'll look great. Um, this is going to be my card base, and I like this paper. I think that's pretty. But I do kind of want quite a bit of this to show, so I'm thinking about not even using this background. Maybe just using this. Oh, but I wanted it gold. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's think about that. Again, this weird sizing, so let me see about how big this is when it cuts out. I was going to do the um, the banner things in gold, you know, but I think I'm going to do this gold. Or maybe this can be blue or something. Hmm. Oh, but then it's going to be all blue in the center area. That might be okay. Um, okay, it's going to cut eight and a half. So, you know, I like to make mine. Well, let me see. Yeah, that would look funky because I like a little something. So we're just going to make up the card base size because I normally do mine three and a half by eight and a half. So let's do uh, three and three quarters just to add that quarter inch or so around here. Um, do I even want that? Fine, we're going to go four by nine. <laughs> okay, so this, so when you have an eight and a half by eleven piece of card stuff like this to make a four by nine you got to get the four um, this way so it's eight this way and then the nine off of the length right otherwise it's not gonna work out <clears throat> so. so we need eight this way and this is uh, eight and a half so I only need to cut off a half an inch I'm telling you <laughs> I know somebody had mentioned like oh I don't like that it's because like it's just they're too big, or it's just weird. Like, why does it have to be different, you know? And like I said, she says she says that's a standard business size. But I'm like, standard business size is a three-fold. I already talked about that. It's basically this folded in three, right? So it should be eight and a half. Um, nine? I don't know. It Yeah, it fits in that envelope, but it's pretty big. Um, okay, so eight. But she's a stationer, and I'm not, so what do I know? <laughs> she's like, that's the standard. Uh, everyone else is wrong. Four by nine. Uh, yeah, so we already did eight, right? Because we're going to score it and by nine. And then that means for this... Oh, this paper's so pretty. I'm going to cut it at... Three and seven eighths. No, yes, three and seven eighths. Mmm... This paper the same. I like this area down here better for what I want on my card. So three and seven eighths, so almost four by eight and seven eighths. And again, I wanted this piece. Okay. So 
we're just baby stepping this. Look how fat that is. Huge. Okay. That's what I want. I'm going to score this at four inches on the eight inch side and I'll be right back. So I just scored that at four. So we have our big four by nine card base. I don't know if I measured this the other day at the end. Um, I think maybe somebody, I don't know if you guys had asked. I, I just don't remember. Yeah. So again, nine by four. <laughs> yep. Oh, you guys, I'm so in love with this little card. Oh, and I added that little chicky. Remember at the end of the video, I said, <laughs> showed if I should add the second um, okay, so one. We have this guy. Me. I'm going to pop this on here. Do, do, do. I did see some of you guys picked up the tulip um, kit or like this, the, co the candy cane cottage kit, but none of the other one. <laughs> so that was interesting. Oh, no. Ooh. See, I would like that center to be cut out. Look at this. I have this red piece here. But it's red where this stuff is burgundy. You know what? I can try it. I don't mind wasting a piece if this doesn't. I just literally looked over my scraps and I saw this red piece sticking out. I'm going to run this through. I don't know if this has. Oh, it does have embossability. So um, I don't know that I have foam sheets big enough for this in the marquee. So I'm going to run it through the um, Tangerine. So that means run it through and then uh, do it again with the uh, rubber embossing mat. And again, with whatever machine you have, that's what you would do unless you have the marquee. And I usually run it through with foam. Um, and I'll be right back. Let's see what we got. I just cut the little extra piece off of there. Um, you guys, too, some people were asking for me to do a D stash. And I, was, I had just mentioned to somebody else in the comments on my video that I just showed my craft room real quick that so far nothing to D stash. So obviously I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Well, the thing is, there's a lot of new things, so I have to put them away, basically, is what it is. Um, again, whenever I do this, I try to not put tape on the area that's going to stay, but I, I had to make sure this stayed together so we can do the rubber embossing. So I try to put a little bit, you can see that it still damages the area. It doesn't matter how thin your tape is, it'll still make a mark. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh. So if I knew I was going to go with this red, I would have picked a different background, I think, but I don't think it's bad because there's different shades of red here. I just don't know what I want to do <laughs> still because I feel like I want to cut that center out but I don't know if that makes sense yeah no that looks good that looks good so then we have this piece and what I was saying is if I run this through I could cut this out you know but it's not the same you know so it would look funky so if anything I would have to top this you know just cut this out in a different color. I don't know that I want to. This is not that lacy, huh? Okay, let me let me cut this out in a blue that kind of echoes the blue in the background and see how that looks. So I know I have a deep blue scrap here somewhere. I saw it earlier. And I'll just run this through and I'll be right back. Um, I'll try to see. With embossing? No, I don't think this one really needs to be embossed. There's nothing in here that's decorative, um, just like these little pieces, so it's not that important to me to emboss that, so I'll just run it through. Okay. <laughs> this is actually not the color blue I was thinking about, so I went, because I had one deep like this, I can probably look for it. Um, so I went to, I was like, well, it usually comes with the Recollections paper packs, and this was um, Opera Red, or was it Fire Opal? I can't remember the name of it, that doesn't sound right, from Tonic. Um, and I saw this pack that I never even opened sitting there and I'm like yeah that's the blue I want that deep blue and look at the other colors in here it's like perfect the mustard and the burgundy and everything that's like what's in here um but they call this pack jewel and I don't know if they still sell it because that's probably five seven eight years old I don't know um and it doesn't quite match but I think I'm okay with that again <laughs> I'm just okay so what I'm gonna do is let's let's stick this stuff down I guess so we're gonna commit should we commit? I don't even know that I should. Because I don't remember what the stickers look like. And then I'm going to do gold still like I wanted to initially. We have Make Today Amazing. Hmm. It kind of has to be like one of those. Again, these are those weird stickers that people say. It says here 3D die cut toppers. And people tell me to just rip it off of here. Which is weird because that just means piece of paper with a foam on the back. So what I usually do is cut out the whole thing. Fussy cut it. 
<laughs> people are like, no, you're supposed to take it off. Well, then why is it decorated? And why is the paper like thicker, like good paper? I don't understand. <laughs> They're really weird. Oh, look. Okay, so we have some stuff to play with. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to commit. Um, oh, no, I was going to say maybe a corner around. I hardly ever do stuff like that. You know what? Just for funsies, which I hardly ever remember to do. I'm going to use this one. It has a ticket stub side and the deco side. And let me see what that means. I forget. I used it the other day, so you think I'd remember. Okay, ticket stub cuts a little divot. And then this one does that. Let's do that. She's feeling kind of funny. What's up with that? No. Do I cut the card base too like that? Or do we just leave it? I'll probably just leave it square, but I could take this around and also cut the card base and it would be decorative on the edges. But you know what? I think we'll leave it like this. I always forget to do those little details, you know? So I'm trying to remember. I have things set up a little better too for me to be able to do that. I'm thinking this needs to be made into a traveler's notebook too with the double sided paper and it's lovely and it has its own theme, you know. Yes, a lot of this is going to get covered up. So what I was thinking was that maybe that one layer would be more lacy, but I forgot that that center piece doesn't cut out, so you're still covering quite a bit. And that's why I did that and I didn't do the background for it. So I thought, oh, you can still see through it and you can see the design, but this whole center <laughs> area is like, nope. And I think I'm going to stick this down to... Okay, just making sure I don't have anything else sticking out of the way. Oh my gosh, it's like early in the morning and it's already sweltering. Yesterday was a nice day, but I think that's what they said. Their humidity would be back this week. Yay! So bad. I'm just going around all the edges here. Do, 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 do. Down here. I guess I can put the glue on the back of my hand, but I'll just do this. I'm trying to see where we're at here. Left to right. Okay, I'm going to hold this down for a minute and I'll be back. Okay, I probably should have just stuck this one down too while I was holding that one down. I just wasn't sure if I was going to pop this up, but I think what I'll pop up is those other things. If I even use them, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the glue on the back of my hand because I can see that's a little thin and it's getting a little messy. <laughs> some of this extra stuff okay and I'm just looking right up and down okay I'm gonna hold that down and I'll be back okay I left this on here now just you know this puts out some weird stuff and I've noticed that <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because machining or what like if you see that I left marks so be careful when you do that um, I've noticed it before and I just, eh, <laughs> overlooked it. And now, uh, yeah. Okay, um, so I kind of want these little guys. I don't know if I just want one of this or two, but I have this scrap paper, so I'm just thinking I'm just going to put this in here. Just trying to see about how big I need that to be. That way, if I want to use this other piece, I'll still have some room. So I need it to be at least like this big. These other ones, this will work too. It'll just double swag, I guess, but I guess they all do. But I kind of want this little guy. So when we're using this, you want the color of the paper that you're going to use facing up or whatever it is that you want facing up, facing up <laughs> right now. And, ooh, let me, yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to run this through, oh my gosh, that means I need to plug it in. The Empress, I guess? Let me see something.
trying to see if I haven't used this in a while as far as well you know I do have an embossing folder plate on this this is the tangerine plate let me see if that works with the top plate because her cut and emboss folders are thicker than other embossing folders right so let me see if it wants to go and if it gives me too much resistance I'll back out oh no actually that didn't feel like any resistance at all <laughs> that's weird Yeah, that felt like nothing. Hold on. Uh, it's okay. It's not the bestest. So let me think about this. How thin is this? This is pretty thin. This is kind of thick. Oh, no, that one's too thick. Hmm. Fine. I was gonna use another plate, but you know what? Let's use the embossing folder. If this works, then I guess I would just run it through with the green plates. Actually, the green plate is thicker. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see what happens. Okay, that gives me some resistance, but it doesn't feel like impossible, so I think I'll I'll do that. Ugh, I have a bunch of stuff sitting here. <laughs> Hold on. You might be wondering where my tangerine is. Um, it's on my uh, stool. Let's see if this didn't squeeze out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> oh, my gosh, you guys. My allergies are just bleh, to the day. Yeah. Perfect. And it didn't tear or rip it, and it's perfectly embossed. So, um, excuse me. If you want to use the um, tangerine, um, this is what I did. So embossing folder plate so that's the skinny skinny plate with the rubber mat then this with your paper and then your top plate of course and that worked out um i don't know if i only want one probably because i was going to do two and that'd be kind of funny so okay let me think about what i want to do as far as um the sentiment you know and it doesn't have to be one of these sentiments to be honest i can grab some something from my anna stuff you are so special and kind to me look at this is pretty it kind of Hmm. This is so hard to tell. What I'm going to do is just snip this away for now. And I'm going to fussy cut, and that's okay. And I usually would do that with smaller scissors. <clears throat> I'm just going to go around the very edge. And again, when you fussy cut, you apply pressure with the hand that has the scissors and turn the paper with your other hand, and that just makes it for a smoother cutting and I'll be back okay okay so we're getting somewhere it's kind of like this I have this that looks like too little you know you know how you know how this girl does it so we're gonna do some more um I do have this twall accent and I was thinking there might be some fun things in here so this is a super old set I don't even think it's available right now ah oh I noticed that this thing had come off hold on the box <laughs> So let's just stick that back down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to dig through this and see if there's anything in here. Because even though this is twall, they do have some fun images. Like, oh my gosh. Look at this. Pheasant? Or what is this? <laughs> I don't know. You guys already know I'm not good with birds. Uh, let's see here. So let me dig through this and see if there's anything that might tuck in here and there. And we'll finish up the card. Okay, you guys. Now we're cooking with gas. So... <laughs> I have these here. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Um, initially, I put these, and I was like, wow. Because that's statement. <laughs> you know? Nice and big. Then we also have these little red ones. Yeah, it's so funny, because the flowers in here really kind of go back to whatever is going on here. Let's see with the red ones. Then this. And that, for some reason. <laughs> I don't like the way that looks. Mm. I mean, if I was going to do that, I'd probably put one on top and one on the bottom. I like them offset, but this little design doesn't really do offset very well. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like the blue ones better. Even though it's a lot of blue at the top. What I do? I don't even remember what I did. Something like that. Something like that. And 
now it all looks weird. And you know how you do something, or like when you say a word too often or too much, and then you're like, oh, that sounds weird. Is that even a word anymore? That's how I feel right now. Hmm, clustered together? That's too close. Let me play with this again. I'll be right back. <laughs> just change the orientation. This is what I'm going to go with. So I'm just going to commit to it, y'all. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. Doesn't say are there more fires? Yeah, there's one fire that's been burning for a little while, but I don't even think that's near here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyway, these are stickers. So I'm going to take the backs off if I can. Supposedly these are stickers. At least the big gold one is. I don't know why it's not coming off of this. You know, maybe this one's not. That's weird, because this one is. See? Hmm. Is this one? Yeah, they don't look like it. Okay, bummer. I'm like, these are stickers. It'll be fine. Oh, they're not? Okay. Um, hold on. How do I have these like this? This is what I get for trying to mix two different things. But I think it worked out. This is going to cover this area here. Aw. Okay. Just trying to see how much I can make it look similar, like how much of this is showing compared to this one. Okay. And I think I am going to stick this down straight. <laughs> I was like, oh, this should be a sticker, but it's not. Uh, okay, somewhere in there. And I'm going to put some dimensional adhesive on the back of this, and I'll be right back. It's a little much. It's got a little much here and there, but you know what? I like it, so I don't know if I want to put this just like here. Let me straighten out this card. There it is. This is a card with lots going on. <laughs> Again, it's just that really big base. It just makes everything feel like, so that's why I kind of went like bigger, you know, with these other things. But what are you gonna do? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I had fun just kind of going through each step and you know step by step, kind of making those choices and decisions. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see y'all at the next one. Bye now.